you guys want to stay up to date with my exclusive videos, make sure that you click the bell on the side to get notified. Here's the video. Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Pond here, Overtime Athletes. Um, as you guys know, I just came out of the baseball program to support some of you baseball players. Um, it's a complete off-season program that you guys can follow step-by-step um, -step with videos and actual workouts. However, some of you obviously can invest in that and uh, how I always wanna provide more value for you. So what I figured I'd do is I'd make a kind of approach video of how I design workouts for baseball players. This is gonna be kind of more of a general one and obviously every athlete is different, but if you're a baseball player and you're interested in, in obviously developing your off-season workout to get better overall, this is the video that um, I wanna be able to support you with. So. What I'll do is just like in the, in the program, I break it down how I design a baseball player. Obviously I do a needs analysis. You know, any baseball player I work with, I wanna make sure that I obviously customize it to their needs, meaning we focus on some of their weaknesses and build that up while obviously going ahead and, and bringing up their strengths as well. What I focus on is structure, strength, and speed. Okay, and most of my workouts are more designed structure in the beginning, then we do some speed, and then we finish off with strength and auxiliaries, things of that nature. However, just for this purpose, I wanna break it down into this. When it comes to structure, structure, think about this as your, your, your structural integrity, right? We don't want to build a baseball player out of a, a house of cards. We wanna have a solid infrastructure. And really, this is what this is all about. Not only that, I've always mentioned this, but uh, baseball is a pattern overload sport. What that means is you're constantly performing the same motion for hundreds of repetitions throughout the season. What we want to do in the off season is bring you to more, uh, more symmetry, you know, bring the body into more symmetrical, um, you know, alignment. And in addition to that, you're constantly utilizing a lot of the same muscles. So what that does is it makes other muscles or certain muscles, those muscles very tight, and other muscles very weak. And by doing that, you're more prone to injury. So we wanna take you out of that. We wanna strengthen it through stability. So the ways that we counteract that is, first one we do is corrective stretches. Now corrective stretches are just static stretches that are commonly used to common imbalances, muscular imbalances with baseball players. For instance, just to go over one, a lot of you guys are very tight in the pec minor. If you're a right-handed or left-handed thrower, you obviously know that you're extremely tight in the pec, so we wanna make sure that we can stretch that out. In addition, after that, uh, we have a dynamic warm-up. Now, a dynamic warm-up is just something that we do for mobilization and activation, a general one for any of our athletes. Make sure that you're doing something to obviously, uh, for lack of a better word, warm up the body, increase the internal temperature, allow the body to uh, start moving. Then we get into some kind of prehab. Now I've gone over this before, but prehab is just preventative measures. It's like, it's, it's basically a word we utilize in the training industry for movements that are going to activate or exercises that are going to mobilize and activate certain muscles to take you out of uh, more pro injury prone positions. For instance, if I use a lot of internal rotation when I'm throwing, you wanna perform a lot of external rotation as a prehab movement. Um, that's the simplest form I can give you guys for right now, but make sure that you're doing uh, training muscles, like I said, that are uh, constantly not worked in the baseball or supporting the antagonist of the muscles that are overly used. Next, we'll, we'll call this stability. I love, I load up my baseball players with a lot of stability. And really what I'm looking for, not only stability in the, in the obviously in the shoulder, the elbow and the knee, but through the trunk. I really think baseball players in the mid upper back here, right? And, uh, and, uh, and uh, the trunk especially, I see them get great results when we focus really hard on stability throughout the trunk. Moving over to strength, um, just to kind of say how this is, I keep the repetitions low, uh, under five, as we're working strength. In the beginning of off season, I might increase the volume. However, with this, um, when I say primal patterns here, I do your typical uh, push, pull, bend, squat, gate twist, and lunge. Now, uh, on lower body days, I'll focus on a bend, which is more of like a, you know, like a deadlift or a, uh, or a uh, Romanian deadlift, things of that nature, kettlebell swing. And then on uh, the other lower body day, I'll focus on a squat. 
So we'll make sure we're doing squat. And I usually balance this out between single leg and bilateral movements. So two legs, you know, like a squat or a, or a Bulgarian split squat, something of that nature. For upper body, um, I'll focus on a lot more pulling than I am pushing. However, I do like to push for baseball players. Most of the time I like to keep it neutral grip. And what that means is a lot of times you're already in internal rotation so much. So what baseball players like to do is become more internally rotated. I like to go a little bit more neutral. That's not to say I don't perform regular bench press with them though. I just don't do a high volume. In fact, I do a lot more horizontal pulling than I do horizontal pushing. Um, and then the other one is uh, obviously some kind of vertical overhead. I really like trunk stability when I do overhead pressing with them. A lot of triceps, a lot of forearm. Uh, and that's really what we focus on with strength. Now, as far as speed, this is the one thing I really like to work with them. And I break it down into four categories. Acceleration, so I do a lot of drills teaching them acceleration. A, if you're a, a upcoming baseball player and you know you have to run that 60 yard dash at a showcase, it's paramount that you learn how to accelerate properly and even top speed. What I like to teach baseball players with acceleration is how to get out of, off, uh, off their lead off, how to get into acceleration phase. Also, I like to teach them off the bat. So after you come off the bat, getting into acceleration phase, and those are your initial let's say five yards before you get into a transition phase. We really wanna focus on generating as much power as quickly as we possibly can, ultimately accelerating as fast as we possibly can. Next one is gonna be plyometrics. That's just gonna be jumping. You know, a lot of you guys, uh, for the most part, I do a lot of power in the lower body, a lot, a lot of power in the upper body as well, but a lot of power in the lower body. Um, and, and what I notice is I do it in multiple directions. So I might just go forward or vertical, but I'll also go side to side. And you'll see baseball players start to increase their power. Obviously, like you guys know, you're usually pushing off that one leg. So if I can increase power on both sides, you generate more force altogether and you start to hit harder and throw faster. So you wanna do a lot of jump training. Um, third, we have top speed. I don't spend too much on this depending on the athlete. It just depends how bad their mechanics are. However, top speed is very important. If you're, if you're a batter and, and you gotta turn that first, uh, you know, the, the single into a double, that, that double into a triple and whatnot, uh, it's very important that you learn top speed mechanics because you're overall going to be able to uh, sprint faster throughout the bases. So it's more or less mechanical work that I do when it comes to top speed. Finally, change of direction. This is something that uh, you've been showing in certain showcases that they're doing more change of direction drills. Um, I do a lot of quick change of direction drills, working on that first step. If you're a defender and you're in the field and you need that first step, I need you to make sure that you can get to that ball or make that play that you need to. So a lot of change of direction, a lot of agility work for baseball players, and that's really the focus of it. So like I said, this is kind of an overview. If you're a baseball player and you're looking to set up your off-season training, make sure that you're incorporating uh, you know, throughout the week, no matter what phase you're in, you might place emphasis on certain ones of these, but no matter what, throughout that week, you're touching on at least one of these each and every time. Uh, and uh, as long as you're doing that, I feel that you'll get great results. Um, I believe, you know, the old paradigm of baseball players not really hitting the weight room and just more relying on skill is over. What I'm noticing is guys are matching skill with their athleticism. And if you match skill with athleticism, you start to see elite players. And some of you guys coming up at the young young level, coming up through the ranks, I think it's paramount. And I, I don't need to pitch it to you really now at this day and age, but I think it's paramount. Obviously, skill trumps athleticism, but I'll tell you what, you, get, you can develop a lot better skill when you have a lot a high degree of athleticism. So make sure that you're focusing on a hardcore off-season training program and you'll see that transition over to the season when you guys approach that. Uh, I hope this helps. Drop your feedback. If I can go to another sport or start working on some other sports for you guys, let me know. I'll hot you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're a baseball player and you're serious about off-season training or even in-season training, basically weight training for baseball, I urge you to check out my advanced off-season training for baseball players. And if you like the video and you wanna see more, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to the channel so I can keep pumping you out more value, more content, 
Love y'all. Hot y'all next time.